Copyright 2017 Win Your Brand. All rights reserved. This video is subject to copyright owned by Win Your Brand. Any reproduction or republication of all or part of this video is expressly prohibited. Unless Win Your Brand has explicitly granted its prior written consent, all other rights reserved. Marcel, you don't know how many things have been done. So, so, so. Okay. So, we have an agenda to talk about uh, costing and pricing. Okay. So, um, Anyone else has any other agenda? That's a good agenda. Mike, do you want to have... Didri, you want to have any... Um, no, because I missed yesterday afternoon uh, for that last hour. Okay. So, so I will summarize exactly uh, my own... It's not my own view, is how we do productization in a, in a regular industry setting. So usually we have a product. This product is described by, which everybody's sick of me saying it, by benefits, and it's described by features. <coughs> okay? So, uh, Sandy, I look, I see you wrote a lot in your sheet, so what are the benefits of what you offer? <coughs> Do you want me to get into the quadrant? Because that's it doesn't like, matter. Like just just list the benefit and let's ask Mabit because if if you tell us the quadrant, we will be. But if you tell us the benefits, because for your customers, when you have this on a product sheet or on an advertisement, you will not say the quadrant. That's right. You will just say the benefits. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so move through fears of speaking or singing in a safe environment to increase more authentic communication. Have fun with like-minded women to learn new tools. Simple five-step program to learn how your voice works and the best material uh, for speaking or singing for your unique voice. Uh, Cost-effective system that can give you an edge for communication to accelerate clients uh, coming to you, learn, anyway, I mixed that up. Um, Cost-effective system that can give you an edge for communication. Learn tools to accelerate clients to you using your voice presence. Sorry. Learn, Just to say. the clock last night. Learn tools to accelerate your voice presence to drive clients to you. Sorry. Okay. More? You can, yeah, you can say, uh, we, 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 we are, me and Mike has lots of input for you, so <laughs> keep Excellent. going. Keep, go, keep going. I'm sorry, I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, I know. <laughs> and I know these need to be shorter, but anyway. Uh, in a two hour weekly session mm. for five weeks, you'll learn voice basics and how to be more efficient and productive. But this is feature. This is features. When you talk about in two, in two hours, five sessions every week, this is features. Okay, so do you want to discuss this one first? Or do you want to just discuss this one first? Sure. <laughs> so when we talk about benefits, <coughs> we talk about the benefits from the customer perspective or the client perspective or the trainee perspective. To which? The trainee, the one she will train. Ah, the trainee. Okay. Well, yeah, so if I come to you, which one of these I should solve? The only one you said is you let customers come to you. So can you repeat the very first one? Move through fears of speaking or singing in a safe environment. Okay, move through fear. So this is a process. So if I go back to the... <coughs> if, I go, if I go back to the color stuff, so this is, does not have for me any value to make money. Okay, this is does not have any value to make relationship. This does not have any value on time. This does not have. This is only have a value to move, which is a process. But the move does not have a tangible thing. It doesn't have a tangible uh, uh, benefits or a tangible outcome. So he said, move through your fear in a safe environment. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
this is will be targeted for people who doing what like what are the customers stage because move through your fear in a safe environment it means that you under it's a safe environment so you never <coughs> actually face other people yeah, that's right it's a group it's yes but for me to benefit from this course mm -hmm. i i need to know re relation to these values we should say eliminate fears or overcome fears for what I don't want to confuse you, but just I'm, I'm discussing it. I'm not uh, saying what you should do, and uh, people yeah. sometimes get confused. When you use move and overcome, this is our <coughs> process. Yeah. So it can be a simple process, which is the one you have a simple a simple step, which is we don't like simple, but uh, you had some some other feature which is a, a simple simple st step by step or simple process. Yeah. So this is you are in the process. But it's a beneficial process. <coughs> it's a benefit to that process. It's a benefit of the process. It's a simple. Yeah. Or it's a compound. Uh, but what is the simple of saying move through your fear? There is no benefit of moving through the fear. There isn't? No. What's the benefit? You Remember, your customers... It's the yeah, you get process. <laughs> yeah, but your customers <laughs> are one customer. Who the are benefit <coughs> is the process. Yes, but your Not customers are ignorant. Yeah. So an ignorant customer... They don't know they're afraid. ...have no brain to take next step. Tell them they're they, afraid. Yeah, they, they are only... Usually when you go by anything, you only have one step of comprehension. So I cannot give you... If I, if I dangle this one to you, you will look at me and say, what you want? You don't understand. I, I give it to you for drink from it or throw it away or fill it for me or whatever, right? right? So take away your knowledge from your brain mm -hmm. and try to articulate it to a three to five years old kid because they will not be able to comprehend beyond what you can tell them, okay? So move through your fear to over, to, to, to reach out more customers, to sell more products immediately through this course or, with, or through the first session, it will comprehend better, in my opinion, and I'm not sure about others can say whatever they want to say, in a one-line read or in a very short two, three minutes introduction. So what you do? I move my customers through their fear in a six in a five weeks training where they can reach more clients that, or, or they can uh, raise find their voice reach more clients make more money within the first week or immediately or right away and you can write it and you can start to craft a better english remember english is my third language okay mm -hmm. and you can tell that it's right so je peux parler français comme les oiseaux mais n'est pas comme Claudie. You speak Quebec, me? I speak French. I uh, speak to that? <laughs> yeah, so this is my input here. Yeah. Okay, so you can <coughs> amalgamate this along these values. These benefits, sorry. So you have, you can move your customers through their fear. Okay. And M uh, expand their message, finds find their voice, which is very important, that's right. Expand their message or reach more customers or reach more audience to sell more products, okay, mm -hmm. in five weeks or less. Where's the relationship? Reach more customers. What if I don't want to reach more customers? You figure it out and you, you start to see what are the benefits from them bet building a better relationship. Why do people come to you? What do they want from you? They want to overcome their fear of speaking or singing in public. Really? Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't come to you for that. But I would come to you because I want to learn how to sing. Awesome. That's a different class. Ah. So isn't that what you're selling as well? 
<coughs> yeah, but we don't want to confuse. We, ha we remember we have to sell only one package. Oh, just one on. um, yeah, I'm focusing just on the one right now. Okay. But absolutely, come see. So, so <laughs> away from this side discussion. We'll see. <coughs> away from this discussion. So when you say in public, it's an added uh, segment to the to the statement you have. So you say, because you said they have a fear of singing or speaking in public. So you should say, I overcome your fear of singing and speaking or, or speaking in public. Or I will help you overcome your fear? <coughs> Not help. We no. don't help. We have more commitment than that. Oh. Do you get it, Sandy? You need to write it in a page because you'll, we'll keep adding to it segments and you'll keep crossing words and stuff like that. Okay. Can you say that again, the second one? So you uh, move your customers th through their fear to speak or sing in public. To address, to address, and you can put a bracket in, uh, slash reach larger audience to make money selling a product or entertain them, and make money. Sorry, and, and you can say and make money in five weeks or less. Mm. And remember, we are doing this in our feet. Like we need to put it on a projector, and many people see it. Like this is a, like this is just as a start of mm -hmm. the process. What do you, what do you think, Mike? And this is only one niche. And this is. This isn't my target market right now. But anyway. Okay. No. Um, let's talk about that. No, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Wait a minute, because I, w I uh, for Deadly, I want to talk about that. Okay, what kind of products you have to, what kind of service or product you have, you must sell or you should sell when you start? You must have one product and one only. <coughs> you cannot have multiple products because you will confuse me. Because the minute Claudia starts to speak here and to say, I want to come for you to learn how to sing, so you are in the learning stage or you take somebody who has already have some learning and he can move forward. And he, you cannot be for both. So you will do the service for both, but when you articulate, you have to articulate one service. Okay. For me, I do personal branding, okay? Which does mean, which means we shared how many courses yesterday? We have like 34 courses, okay? But it's encumbered by a personal branding. So people wants to get personal branding or aspect of personal branding or making money of personal branding, they will come to me. So what I'm saying is you don't leave stuff outside. Like like Mike is doing business support. What do you mean business support? Accounting and bookkeeping. He's not doing two. He's doing a service of accounting and bookkeeping. Some of people will come for him for bookkeeping. Some of them will come for accounting. But he only is he's doing one service, accounting and bookkeeping. You can cut it into halves. You can have multi-level pricing. But you cannot stand when you start at the beginning to do one thing. Tony Robbins was doing personal development. Now he's doing business and other stuff. So after the first year or two years, once you get to know, people get to know you, you can branch and you can expand and you can do things. But if they come, they have to come to see one thing. I run maybe f more than five things contradicting each other, but 80% of my or 90% of my appearances are around one business. So people will know me for this business. And I was doing this for a few months. It ended up being very well known. My cards are remarkably interesting. People will say, oh yeah, we remember this card. We have this card before, stuff like that. So. You can confuse people when you have multiple, I can do this and this and this and this and this, because jack of all trade, master of none. Yeah, just with the way that I was doing this, it started to uh, appear that it was coming across more for like a business 
uh, result. But what I actually do is for women um, 50 plus that are wanting a second chance to reclaim their voice. And this, is, this sentence is very important to add. I did not about, know about it. In the second sentence I said, like in the, in the statement we ha you wrote down. Yeah. So in the sta um, Instead, my customer or customer, the first word. The first he, one? No, 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 here. You go back. You said, I move okay, yeah. my customer. Yeah. Instead, customers. 50 year old women. This is exactly the description what? of the customers 50 plus women. Yeah. Or a um, relationship part, right? No, this is, I am now, she is now zero in or mm -hmm. of who, who are the her customers. Target mm -hmm. market. Target market. And we don't know if this will be will work or not. What we know, if you go around with this particular package and you talk to people, you'll get their feedback. Uh, but I, I, from my experience, I know that this will work because it's very clear what you do. Any other inputs from the table? I have a question. So would we, would we tailor all the benefits to the target specific? Yes, it's one. <coughs> It's one, and the one stands for. It's one thing. We offer one thing. You offer a leadership course, a leadership course, a leadership program, leadership program. When you have the same as De what Dedris was saying, she is running in two different businesses. I will see her as confused, because if Mike, and Mike is, I know him for some time, so he'll allow me to say that. If she is doing, for example, uh. Uh, energy healing and maybe let's say energy healing acupuncture physiotherapy massage therapy the four packages okay and the mic is not even as close to her in energy healing but the fact is he only focus on energy healing and he's not as as at your level i will tend to go to him because he can do he only focus on this business mm -hmm. and when i will go i will not know that you are a better service because i'm already in this service mm -hmm. And that's how we are confused and we go and, and buy stuff or buy programs from people who are not qualified to offer it. So you always remember the I, you only offer, offer one product to the ignorant, which is your customers. Your customers are ignorant and this is not a bad thing because they don't know what's your service. Hmm. Okay. So the, the one is I run the office for and do all of the web building and all of that kind of stuff. And the other one is my personal business. But so do you market? Do you market the web? Do you, like, do you do websites for me, for example? I do his website and I do my website. Yes, but do you sell website services? No. So as long as you don't sell it, it means what? Nobody knows about it. Because we are ignorant. We don't know you. Right. Like when I say my cust my clients and my audience are ignorant, I'm not talking about they are ignorant because they don't know my service. Right. But they are a uh, high qualified individuals. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you don't say if you don't if you don't come here and tell us that you also you also do his website, we will not know. Right. We will only know that you are part of his program or assisting him or offering him or. Right. I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I teach for him and I run his workshops here in Canada. I call it, uh, and so you facilitate yeah. the workshops, yes. you moderate the workshops, you, because running the workshops, is, is, what do you mean? Like, yeah. if well, you I organize them from the bottom up. Yes, so. but where you want to stand for people to get to buy more of your service? For credibility. For you credibility. Can you say you work in a workshop, you could be doing what Marcel is doing, pulling the paper together. Marcel is volunteering, guys. Marcel is a very... Yeah. And, and meet, doing the meet and greet. So if you right. say you're running running the program... I do I, call I, it that. Yeah, but the hosting where, thing, where, so where do you want to put your credibility, though? Where do you want the ignorant to know? About? What, what do you want to know the ignorant to know about you? Like I am, that I'm a good facilitator, so I guess that's what... Yes. Yeah. I am completely... Actually, the first, very very first time... I met you was yeah. here. Yes. That's right. Yeah. So I was a completely ignorant. Right. Now you came and to talk about I'm doing two different businesses. So in my mind, you may be doing two businesses like bookkeeping and something else. Okay. And then when you when we stand in the kitchen, you said, I'm doing uh, I'm wearing two hats or I'm doing two yeah. different things. 
all in my mind and I want I me, I met I meant in these three days to speak to you about that maybe today is the right time uh, because you must be one for one mm -hmm. and all quality I will put out it will in endorse this quality so when I come and say I'm a branding guy because I have an MBA in advertising I have a PhD in computer engineering which is not relevant much but I used my technology and I sold them and I made lots of million dollars on that and this is my companies in around town and this is how I built them up you will get immediately feedback oh yeah this guy he was doing it he was taking ideas making it millions he focused on branding he have been doing it for himself so, so sell myself to sell both you cannot sell both you can you well, need to sell one the one is my paycheck and the other one is when this paycheck when I decide to leave I have this one so you just focus on the facilitator. Why you why you why you talk about website? Why you talk about the back back office support? Well, because there's nobody else doing it. Yes, but as a customer of yours, do I care? If I'm stuck oh, on website, I see. If, yeah. I'm, yeah. if I'm stuck yeah. on website, I'm going, oh, I care if you does yeah. websites. Yeah. I'm going to go to her for some help. And, yeah. and go, oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you just told me you, you do really good at websites. Yeah. So. Okay, and if you're gonna, really good at one thing, I'm going to trust that you're really good at some other things too. Right. I'll be more but this will come on a different discussion, right. on a different right. website page. Right. Right. When I say a first discussion, first impression, it also includes your, your website. It also includes your Twitter profile. It also includes your Facebook profile. It, it includes anything and yeah. ignorant, which yeah. is like I call myself ignorant to you, will see you for the first time. Right. So if I go to your LinkedIn website, for, uh, LinkedIn profile, for example. It's like news. It's not guy natural therapies so and that's what it should i should have me as guy natural therapy you figure out what you want to yeah. do for me because i'm not me i am you no, yeah. you or me me you know. you know that's right okay so when i want to uh, when i want to tackle an ignorant i have to tell him the or her the benefit of what i do mm -hmm. and then i will go and articulate mm -hmm. the features okay. the features is what type of service they will get so example for you on the features, do you wanna, uh, someone wants to list the features, do you have your features? <laughs> or we go back to Sandy again? What are you you must have done this yesterday morning because I, I never saw the sheet. So I give it to you at the end. Well, you didn't tell me what to do with it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, yeah, we have a different discussion, sorry. Yeah. So, uh, can you share like four, two, two, three, four features you have? Sure, uh, worksheet outlining uh, five, step-by-step -step techniques and how to use them for your specific vocal needs. Wow, okay. Um, I like the qualifications. I like it because usually people say worksheet, but I like this. You put all the information there. Okay. Um, that I have 25 years experience as a world traveled vocalist. This is not a feature. This okay. is an authority. Uh, emails Stop. weekly to quickly review and recap our sessions, including bonus voice exercises and instructions. Okay. And one 15-minute one-on-one phone or Skype call for your specific needs. Okay, so when you say the statement which we are working on it, I move my 50, 50 plus woman, whatever, okay, this statement, mm -hmm. people will come and say, how you do it? So you can say, I provide uh, uh, 15 minute sessions and I provide the interactions through emails and stuff and, and, and all the list you said, okay? okay. So this is are the features which people usually start to list, okay? So a feature for myself would be my radio, my weekly radio show. Um, uh, Your the, podcast. The, the Monday, the, mon the three evenings I, I offer. Mike, everything is okay? Huh? Everything is okay? Yeah, it's really warm in here. Oh, okay, so um, it's super warm. Yeah, open that. Such as free events that I offer and things like that. Is that, would that be featured? Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Uh, well, the, the radio show that I do, and then um, that on Monday nights I, I offer free energy healing. And this, all, this all are all feature, features? This all are features. Okay. okay. Now, we are here to talk about costing. Okay. So the question is how you can identify uh, 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 price for your service. So 
the feature is what you will offer even your website is feature even a blog on your website is a second feature a membership on your website is a third feature uh, I, I, like you can go micro or macro levels on your features based on what you charge your customer to, to, to do it, right now before I go there is one graph on the top of the page which I gave it to you and this graph is like this No, this is the front. Very top. Very top. Yeah, yeah. This is supposed to be the, the first page because it's supposed to be read like uh, it's like one sheet. It's not. It's not. It's not supposed to be. Uh, it's not supposed to be folded. <laughs> yeah, it's not supposed to be folded. So, yeah. So, and we, I had this discussion with Mike yesterday. So, what are these? If you remember, we talked about customers who are C with a dollar sign. So, these are the customers. Who are paying money for my service? What's your What's your service? As a Sandy example, Sandy is a five week. We don't call it. We just call it five week for now. It, it will be like we will call it like. We'll give it a name, a fancy, a fancy name. Because. Play with your voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for now, we call it whatever, well, whatever, whatever five week program or feature she said. Okay, so this is what people will pay her money for. Now, if I look at the chain, we have clients, we have prospects, we have lead, we have target audience, we have audience, we have general, we have re uh, return customers, we have uh, referral customers, we have retired customers. So these are the chain of process where I will get somebody like me, general, with Deadry, I heard from her a little bit. I asked her more questions. I became a lead. I may uh, <coughs> become a prospect. I may attend your workshop next time, your free session, so I'll be your client. I may fall in love or not. I don't know. I may come to to pay for you. And then I may get more service from you. I have. I will bring my wife to also. She's woo stuff as well. Uh, she's woo. She's wow. Okay. And then after six months, we'll be away. And maybe in the next uh, Christmas, you send us a, t a, t a ticket or a gift or something for us to come back. Did you get what are this? It's not relevant to every business. Some businesses, you find out that these are one class. Sometimes you find when I meet somebody I don't know in current uh, event, they come right away and pay. Mm -hmm. Which is what sometimes happens with Mariana. They will just come, or sometimes they will come and attend Mariana free session. After that, they will just pay. So, so 80% I target the small arrows. The brown arrows can happen. That's right. The brown transactions can happen. It doesn't need to go yes. step by step like that. Yes. So, the question will be, what are these lines? <clears throat> So I call this is the product line. This is all the activity and the services products you offer. So do you do um, 20 minute introduction, Sandy, for your offer? Do you do, do, you, do you go do like a seminar? No, not yet. Not yet, but can you do a seminar? Yes. If you plan to do a seminar, the seminar will come maybe here. This will be, this will be the seminar. Would that be a free one? It doesn't matter free or not free, just a seminar. We can talk about details later, okay? okay. For this seminar, you must have the benefits of the seminar and the features of the seminar. Like if Karen invited you on stage to talk for 15, 20 minutes about what you do, right? To right. complement the program. So the benefits for this... What you're working on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the benefits for these seminars must be different oh, than the benefit um, of your program. So each one of these ticks, I repeat, customer. and I appreciate what Mike gave me as a feedback because I've been with him on this sheet for like Referral five, six customer. months, and, uh, and uh, apparently, apparently I did not repeat enough Thanks. for people to memorize and remember. Each one of these ticks must have 
a sheet like its own sheet. Ah. So when I talk about ah. yeah, I, 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 and take this as example. Sometimes we have the stuff in our mind, and the people who are ignorant for our stuff, or for ignorant of our information, they will not. They are not required to take the steps to figure it out. This is a good example. Like we had, the, how many times we had similar sheets? Six or eight <laughs> times in our program. And every time I stand and say, we need to do one pair product and service. It never resonates with the audience that this is will be, I need to make, if you have five, one, if you have five things here or five uh, features here, five services here, you go and make five copies of this sheet. Mm. Mark each one and fill it. So one sheet's the master sheet showing the entire plan. And then the other sheets are sub sheets of the benefits of each. Yes, it can. Work. It can be in this uh, way. Yeah. It can be in this way. Yes, but so I, hearing what you're saying is, so the Monday nights of the free stuff. Good would be, Monday night here. Would be one. Yes, this and is then from that I do an introductory weekend. Introductory right? weekend what? will be here. Yeah, and then from then that I do individual workshops. And the workshops will be here. Let's call it individuals. Okay, and then I offer two and a half year program. So two and a half year program will be offer. would be the five weeks. Yeah, or it can be here. Okay. Two and a half years program. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Each one of these must have a different benefits. Okay. Okay. So if I come to your what's why wow? Wow. You wanna sell and you wanna make a program which can attract, which can generate a million dollars. Awesome plan. I just don't even this is how it's structured. Plan. This is how it's structured. So. When you come to stand out, not to blend in at Win Your Brand, which is nine, 20 to 90 minutes seminar, I, I, I show you how, what are the challenges for you to stand out, not to blend in, mm -hmm. and how you overcome the challenges. It's on YouTube. It's really good. When you come, oh, thank you. When you come here, <laughs> when you come here to Brand Mastery, we share the tools, and I don't have the flyer for the workshop, but you, we share the, you have the benefit of identifying your strengths, weaknesses, which is your brand. And you can put a plan, which we'll talk about it today in the regular program, how you can monetize. And we started yesterday. Yesterday we talked about the book, the ebook, few of these uh, concepts in our services, which basically this particular sheet. So this is the dollar sign model or our rule you can break it you can do something slightly different or different but you got this so now what's next what next is you come to the regular program where we can execute and have detailed information of every step within six months or a year or two years so this example shows you what are the difference between what i do when you come to my website all what you see is blogs and information about branding when you come to my podcast, you get informations and uh, tips on the three C's, how you talk, how you do, how you, how you have a background for your... So there are different material put out there. But each one of my activities here must have benefits, different than the others. Imagine if I tell you... Brand mastery seminar workshop for three weeks. You will build your you will build your whole career on it, and then you come or it's uh, twelve steps for brand mastery winning, on three days workshop, and then I stand here on the second day and I say I am selling you guys twelve step brand mastery winning. You will say, you know what? So why we have the workshop? Why we pay you more money? We already have it as the workshop, so. You should be able to figure out all of these benefits. Now, <coughs> the features will be function of what you offer. So, for example, for Deidre, she's talking about the Monday night. So, the features of the Monday night, what? Maybe she will talk on 20 sessions in 20 minutes, or I am more familiar with Mariana's service. So, well, Mariana... So, so, we would do an, I would do an assessment of their bio field. Yeah, so this is what I was talking talk. about. Yeah. 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 So, on Mariana's services, for example, she has a computer-based assessment. And uh, she will give out a uh, couple of literatures, a couple of handouts. She can also get a signing sheet so people can sign up. So there are a few yeah. things. So these are the features. Now, when you have this written, 
in your brand playbook you need Marcel to come to help you it doesn't matter because what you will give Marcel here is what you will come to volunteer for helping you need me to come to stand out and help you it's not a big deal because you have one sheet I read yeah this is what are we doing in the workshops or the 90 minutes or the introduction night I understand the benefits here is the features uh, what you want what you what you want me to do you give me the task and now I understand you want to get your website developer to do it for you you basically send them this sheet you don't get a website developer to develop for you your program because this is what people will do I want to sell this can you do a website for me what so if I if you if I get the deadlies to do the website if I get uh, Mike to help me with the social media if I get Kevin the Twitter account if I get uh, Claudie to write my operational manual and I am speaking and uh, Marcel is trying to close the sales outside on filling the forms and you trying to invite people and all I and uh, Mariana's trying to take care of the logistics and the work the work in the program and all what you have is brand mastery workshop guess what will happen each one of those will have their own messages I will stand here with a complete different images and figures and messages any guest will come if they even show up they will get confused because Deidre on her website said is a branding your company can be branding company and the, how the branding will do Mike will share branding about IBM and Microsoft and all this branding this guy will see this branding from Google activities for students and uh, um, BWC and all these organizations he will talk about branding of students Claude is trying to put these people into work and I come here and say about personal branding for coaches and business owners and they will advertise you differently differently so this is the importance of having a common document not called business plan because we don't it's not sophistic, sophisticated it's not called marketing plan is I call it playbook every single sheet you do one time put it inside the playbook and then if you face a challenge of having a new activity you can go back and review and verify that it fits what you want to do many people are doing like many people are standing on stages to speak about programs and they have no ideas of delivery go around and ask what do you do I'm a business coach okay so what do you do <coughs> I coach people so he never articulates that he offers an hourly rate program or I can be a subcontracting for your company and the price is negotiated. You can tell people, you know what, price, call or negotiated. Let's talk about the pricing. You don't need to go with the pricing right away. So with each one of these should be formatted. I recommend, this is my rule or my recommendations. You can take this. If you don't like it much, it's okay, do yours. But you understand that if I invite in individuals for different events, because if you let's let's talk about that. If I'm on you on Twitter, why do I have to follow you on Facebook wall? If I get everything from you on Twitter. Ah, and you see, and that's that's eh? an eye opener for me because when I do posts and things like that, the same post, different times, but the same post will go out to. Twitter and LinkedIn and Align and things like that. Yeah. And Facebook. Yeah. But they go out at different times. But it would be good also to have something in between so that people aren't getting all of the information, all of the same information all of the time. Because mm -hmm. people do use more than one. Yes. So you have to be able to do use, use more than one. I run, uh, I, I just revamp a few websites and I republish the old materials in a different sequences. Because you have to understand also that the, uh, the memory of your audience right now is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Okay? So, it, so it's not like if I tell you something today, a, a year down the road you will not remember it. Actually, a week you will not remember it. So having a, a, a schedule for the social media, and we'll talk about it today as well, social media plans, uh, it's, it's important. So when you do any of this, you must have a benefit. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I have a question. Uh, I just want you to let me finish what they're going to say. So, uh, so if I'm promoting something, do I invite them to the seminar or the five-week? And this is good. Excellent question. 
Excellent question. If you are offering more than a thousand dollar or a thousand dollar plus program, people need to feel you, touch you, not touch, but touch you. Uh, understand who are you? Okay. So getting seminars is good. Is it free or twenty dollars or we call it a twenty dollars and we give a free promotion? It's a different story. It's a longer discussion. If I am offering, uh, if this is for my book, and my book is twenty dollars book, do I really care? No. That's right. So it's a function of what you offer. If you if you expect and anticipate your customers to come and spend with you longer time, it's better for you to like them and they like you. So having a three days workshop. It's great. Now, everybody here is, uh, we will send invitations out. Everybody can come for the next two or three events we have with Win Your Brand at, uh, no, at no extra cost. Or if you want to sign up for the program, the first month is completely covered by your VIP registration. So you will not pay any money. And at the, after the end of the 30 days, you can decide if you want to continue or not. So in this way, we can build, you commit. If you don't commit, I will let everybody, you're not committing. You commit to do the effort. You will not sit here and ask us questions and take notes and go home and come in two weeks or in a week and say, oh, yeah, guys, I was busy with exams or stuff. Uh, so if you do that and we do that and we have a harmony, we will continue the journey for a year or two years. If it's only a seminar or only a book or only a audio online, like I know uh, some individuals here are doing video online and the online courses, they just need 20 minutes introduction to introduce the course. And the course will be uh, 197, 297, whatever numbers are. Mm. Does this make sense? Mm -hmm. So you should have some insight or visualization how you can invite your customers, which are here, because this is the most important part is people who are paying money. How you invite your customers to your service. Make sense? Does this make so sense? The, yeah, so the promotion would depend on, I guess, how many people you want in it and how for how long, or yep. it would yep. depend, yeah. And it's a so function of each program. What you're thinking, whether it's an intro evening or whatever, I guess, whatever like the time it takes for people to endear themselves to you. Is that, yeah. is that right? Yeah. And so but that most likely... into the bigger program, the bigger promotion. Most likely he will sell to to schools. So if you sell workshops in, in schools, you will not need people to come. You need just to do a workshop for the principals or the professor or the teacher of the school to, uh, to accept your offer and then you will automatically talk to the students. So it's function of nature of our offer. There is no one solution fits all, that's right? I wanna talk about pricing. So any if I, <coughs> any questions? So in the next five, five minutes or 10 minutes, we want to talk about pricing. So how can I price my uh, product? Uh, in our um, selling from the stage or in our product sheets, okay, uh, in our product sheets we have, you should have the MSRP which is the manufacturer suggests retail pricing. Oh, uh, the, the MRSP is driven from a value. Okay. So for me, if I empower you with tools that's within six months to a year or within six months, you will make $10,000 a month. My value for you, it's $100,000. Because I can show you how I can make uh, how you can make a hundred thousand dollars if you apply all the rules and everything we do, and if we work together for within six months you can launch the program and you start to get customers at the time, and you can average ten thousand dollars by the end of the first year or first second year it doesn't matter like we put a value of a hundred thousand dollars, okay, is it acceptable value now. What is my MRSP? I cannot charge you $100,000 because majority of us don't have $100,000. So from this value, we come and say, we will charge, let's call it 
10,000 or 12,000 or whatever numbers. So this is the MRSP. Okay? If I am if I can get you two hundred thousand dollars in 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 one year, this can be twenty thousand dollars. This is the MRSP. How many people will pay the the twenty thousand dollars? Not many. Because what you should do, or what will work is first when you come here and decide on your programs. You should have we, so so. What Cindy will be known for is the five week, which will better get uh, will get a, a better name. Okay, the five week service. You should have at least three level of pricing. So you should have a basic, intermediate, and advanced. Uh, uh, emerald, uh, sil what what? Silver, gold, platinum, VIP. Preferred, general, basic, uh, intermediate, intermediate yeah. advanced, whatever three levels you have. Why do you need three levels? There are so many reasons. One of them is the negotiation when people who are when people are really needing more money, they they are holding for the money. There are buyers. I agree with you. There are buyers will like to get more services at a lower price. There are so many kind of negotiation later on we can talk about it in, when it, it, when we train you for how to sell and the close deal but you must have a tiered at least three tier pricing any of these you may have one or two or it doesn't matter or only one because these are qualifiers okay now it will be too much if you have like five different entry points and each one will have three t it's, it's too much okay now so when I explain that I have three tier pricing, I must provide different features. So if you look at the back of this sheet, you will take the features from the front and on the back, you can put the package name and you should have some features, like four features here. Here will be five, two on add-on and one in extra. And this one, you will keep continue. So the basic package will have, for example, three basic features and one add-on. So how, how I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around how I could do that in a program that is over two and a half years. Because, I mean, right now, we take on one student per program for free, but we don't announce it. It's if somebody comes to us and says, look, I'm really hard up, and so we take on one student for free. And then I offer different payment plans for them to pay for the course. So the different pay pl payment plans can be a packaging style. Okay. The different services. So if you give extra education, so the way this is work for us is here, you should put all features you can ever offer. We have here add on extra and the bonuses. These are labels. So when we have here somebody who have established program and you, and the label these features as extra, they will write them here. For in filling this sheet, you just list all possible features and you keep add as many as you can from feature. Then you will come back on this side and you should grab the features as follow. Basic features, the second tier features, the third tier features. If your features look like this, we call this islands. Islands means needs bridges. Bridges means need extra information which is not a sellable product. So your features should be in this approach. Father, do you put yeah. If you come to the intermediate, you will take all the value of the basic plus one to three. If you come to the advanced, you will take all the values of the intermediate plus one to three. If my features will look like this, I need a bridge. Bridge means what? Justification, why this is different. 
So if somebody will come and say, I do bookkeeping, I do accounting. These are two different markets. But when you say, I, I do bookkeeping and accounting, and we offer bookkeeping here, and bookkeeping and accounting, and then bookkeeping and then audited financial statement, for example, this will be, people will understand that you can do bookkeeping and it doesn't make sense to do accounting, bookkeeping somewhere else and to come for us for accounting. And even if they, if they need that, they will come to talk to you. So you can have a tailored, you can have in your back pocket a tailored package. You don't say no to any customer, anyone who wants to buy anything, okay? If they want to buy the moon, uh, I can show you how to sell them the moon. You say, yes, yes. Let's talk. Yes, let's talk. Okay. Does this make sense? Okay. Now, if you see something like that, means you may want to go to a higher abstract level. So I want to do authority. I don't want to do book. I want to do speak from the stage. I'm doing personal branding. And, and so those could in, in themselves be three separate categories that you will do a basic uh, and go through the whole process all over again. Oh yes, okay. oh yes, oh yes. And don't f don't uh, uh, fail for the things which will say, oh yeah, but my customers, when they come, they know that they are getting this service. Because if you do it in this way, on uh, the exer exercise demonstrate, you'll get higher rate of people, more people in. You'll get more people for the online system. Okay? Yeah. So, that, that coming back, so okay, so now we understand how you can uh, group the packaging, and uh, I uh, uh, so for example, if you are familiar with the Tony Robbins uh, models for his workshops, they do have more than three, okay, they have like by row seatings, flames, by flames, uh, games when they sell the game, they have seatings by sections. And they have also a seasonal, and they have a annual, and they do have a regular ticket for the, so. Students. Yeah, so yeah. all of, there will just be many of these, that's it. So coming back to pricing. So if you wanna do pricing, you should go in the benefits and figure out what is the value from the benefits. Okay, so. Coming back to the common example we have, which is Cindy example. If Cindy will work with gypsies, gypsies don't make too much money. So the value of advancing their skills will not be justifiable for them on the money. But if she works with uh, uh, Celine Dion, her show will be a million dollar show. So she can come and say, I can charge you $10 million because in two months, you will make them back. So the value has to be very well sought after when you put all your benefits. And then you can figure out the price. What is the right price is what the customer is willing to pay. Okay? So, um, when you look at pricing here, you can approach it from five minutes. You can approach pricing from value, understanding, and you can approach pricing from cost. That's right. Cost of goods. So if I am doing a retreat, and the retreat will be in Kananaskas, first this Maui, <coughs> which retreat will be more expensive? Kananaskas or where? I didn't Maui, or uh, Maui, or Hawaii, or... It depends on what you're... It will be the same set of speakers. Yeah. So Kananaskas will be much cheaper than Hawaii or Maui. Mm, because not the necessarily. Well, for the retreat, the tickets for the retreat will be much cheaper. No, because the people pay their own travel to get there. But they will they are willing to pay twenty five thousand dollars entry fees to spend a week or two weeks in Maui, where they cannot pay more than five thousand dollars to go to Kananaskas ah, for a workshop. Because the demographic the demographic you are selling for is different. So when you sell to the uh, people to go to Maui or Hawaii, mm -hmm. 
this is not the average managers in a company. That's right. So when we did events, when we put BAMF on the table and then we put Calgary, we can we can uh, double the charging for BAMF, what we charge for Calgary. And you know what? <laughs> it's the same set of speakers, same lineup of speakers, and the diff, but you'll be surprised. If you put BAMF on your flyers, all these Japanese people will come and everybody will come for BAMF. But when you put Calgary, uh, people will, uh, yeah, we are coming to a metropolitan area, you know. And there's only 114 kilometer difference. So when we when we when I announced back 2002 uh, workshop in Banff and I put the right things there, I got phone calls from individuals. Why are we landing in Calgary? Why we, is there direct flight to Banff Airport? <laughs> you laugh, but people from the other side who can pay with euro. Well, or, they see though. There's an airport there, but it's okay. Emergency only. So yeah. so the guys were. Co co I had a few of these phone calls. I also have phone calls from Caesars because there was some Chinese coming and the Canada doesn't want them to be here. So we got mm. all kinds of phone calls. But this was very interesting. When I moved the conference from Banff to Calgary, people signed up for the conference and they didn't show up. We made lots of money. Because people used to see the conference four years in Banff in a row. And the one year Banff became very expensive for us to run it. So we said, okay, let's just do it this year in Calgary. Because he got sick of it like four years in a row doing something, you know, he got sick of it. So uh, I remember we went back to the hotel and we got like less than a quarter of the catering because there was no show up. We made lots of money because we, had the we kept the registration fees anyway. So we made lots of money. However, we did not make the impact. So both are the same city for me, 114 kilometers, they're not far from each other. And the same, if you put Canmore, people will not come. But if you put Banff, people will come. Yes, ma'am. So I did, a, I did a conference like that uh, a few years back and brought in speakers from um, the Inca and the Mayas and brought them in and we did it at the new casino on the corner of the highway and we were sold out. The next year, the casino wasn't available. Ready, yeah. And so I tried to do it in Calgary and I couldn't sell a ticket. Because you put Banff in front of a Japanese before the September 11 will have summer schools in Banff. That's why Banff venues were fully booked, the Banff uh, uh, Center in particular. And when I asked them why you were so booked before, why this year you are giving to me, he said, September 11, we have no, no, no guests here. Before that, they have long contract long-term contract with a school board in Japan where they will have students every week for like 14 or like some long weeks and he said that's why all Banff this uh, low not low cost like this convenient places will be fully booked by Japanese Japanese would love to come to Banff September 11 came we stopped getting people in Banff for two through three four years it lost the reputation people don't come anymore the same in Egypt. In Egypt, we have Charm, which is most, most of you aware of it. It's a resort on Sinai called Charm. And they have all these uh, events in it. And it's not even connected to the mainland. It has its own airport. When you go, if, when you go to Middle East, people are, we are going to Charm. Okay, Charm is not Cairo. It's not Egypt. It's not Alexander. It's Charm. It's, it's a resort area. Same like Cuba. Do you like to go to Faradero? Like when you go to Cuba, we go Faradero. Mm -hmm. Some of us will go to Cabana. Or, uh, but there are so many other uh, like uh, Manalza and these other places, which is very close to Varadero. But if I get you to an invitation there, to Manza, you said no. Manza is much better than Varadero and is on the side. And so many hotels market themselves in Varadero, but they are in Manza. They are not in Varadero at all. But we are connected to Varadero. So this is what we call it demographic. So it's because of prestige? Yes. <laughs> okay. <coughs> and uh, if you understand Tony Robbins models, why people go to Tony Robbins? Because they go and sit there and say, yeah, we attended Tony Robbins event. What did you learn? Nothing. Yeah. What did you apply? Almost nothing. But they still go. Yeah, it's okay. It's not bad to sell this co people. So when yeah. you do pricing, if you can do the value. So before we conclude, I want to say a few things. On this MRSP, you should make it uh, sweet, like you should have a discount. 
and if you sell through seminars and webinars you must have a different level of discount for urgency and you should have a discount called by first three people so the first three people who buy can have a better discount the bottom line is make sure the lowest price you sell at covers your cost or somebody in the group will cover their cost in my programs I do have customers in New Zealand and customers elsewhere where they cover the whole operation so we get from people here cost for commitment but it's not as expensive as what I sell outside because for me is I'm driving values and at the end of the day in a group setting you don't need to you need to set up a minimum pricing but you don't need to to overprice people or overcharge people because you need to also have built the groups so in our products in our pricing uh, models like this uh, notes we talk about sweet and make it sweeter you you work on this workshop this right yeah. when we talk about the price and make it sweet and sweeter and sweeter and sweeter sometimes also you can leverage others so sometimes you say okay let's just get them books let's just get them uh, uh, pre-recording so this is our ex ex similar to discount so if you have a pre-recording of previous sessions you say okay you know guys I'll give you a pre-recording as well so if you don't if you don't if you cannot attend the sessions you can do it on your own time I will give I record all my sessions and give it to my customers on my uh, membership website so if you attend the workshop you have the sequence recorded so you can go review any section you have the not the, the handout and uh, some of the recording I can put them as a promotion to sell other products okay let's just stop any questions yeah I, just, I realized you did that yesterday uh, when you talked about your 12 months. I do what I teach what I do I'm not yeah. learning stuff and trying to impress people with things I don't practice yeah, you did the 20,000, and if you start sign up today or something, you put cheaper. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, and this is how it works. Wait, this is no. how it works. Okay. So, sorry. Um, the value is a guest number. Yes, the value is what the customer will do, what will do with it. Yeah, so if the company will double their business, and the company is making a million dollars, so just uh, follow up on this example. If a company is making a million dollars and I can show them, as I can convince them as a result of using my leadership or my change management workshop, they can double their income to two million. So it would be legitimate for me to come and ask for $100,000 or $200,000. If I cannot articulate that, don't do it. Uh -huh. If I work with a company in the demographic of a fifty of a, of a $1,000 income, and I can show them they can couple the 1,000 to 3,000 or to 2,000. I can charge them 10% of the cost beneficiary. Okay? Any questions? <laughs> Many questions. <laughs> okay, so let's just uh, stop this session. Copyright 2017 Win Your Brand. All rights reserved. This video is subject to copyright owned by Win Your Brand. Any reproduction or republication of all or part of this video is expressly prohibited. Unless when your brand has explicitly granted its prior written consent all other rights reserved.